Hey what is up guys and welcome back to a different kind of a video this time it's not a league race highlight or a comparison video this time it is a review of two of the wheels that I have used over the past four months I started with the Logitech G29 initially and then I shifted to the Thrustmaster T150 about two weeks back but just a quick disclaimer I am not a reviewer in that I did not buy these wheels to review them I'm simply somebody who's used them over the past four months and have some thoughts which I'd like to share through this video and as this is my first time making a video of this kind the the camera angles might be shaky the video might be awkward but hopefully I'd give you a good review of both of these products and help you reach to an informed decision if you're looking to buy either of these products but starting off this is how the two boxes compare and since these both are very similarly priced I expected and observed no real difference in the packaging of either of these wheels but getting to the wheel and the wheelbase itself so on the initial look I think both of these look pretty similar there are more buttons on the Logitech G29 and the other key difference on first look is how they can be mounted to a table so the Thrustmaster uses a bolt and a pad kind of a setup which helps it clamp to a table and on the Logitech G29 it's it's all on the wheelbase itself but coming to other notable differences on the two wheels and as you can see the Logitech G29 feels like the better built wheel and just in terms of the rim thickness and the buttons overall everything on the Logitech G29 feels more premium and you can see by the d-pad on the Logitech G29 it feels like a d-pad whereas on the T150 it's like four different buttons diametrically opposite to each other and coming to the number of buttons on each wheel the Logitech G29 with its dials and other buttons you know it's certainly superior and on the T150 you get two extra buttons on the wheel base itself so I'm not sure where you can use that in a race situation probably for rain lights or wipers or what have you uh, but coming to the wheelbase itself, I think the Logitech G29 has better support if you want to mount it to a rig and different cables for gear shifters, for pedals and for the power supply which can be disconnected whereas on the T150 there is an internal motor which powers the wheel. But now coming to the main point of difference, something which motivated me to change from the G29 to the Thrustmaster and that is the pedal sets in both of these wheels. So the Logitech G29 comes with its own set of pedals whereas the T150 Pro comes with T3PA Thrustmaster pedals and the key area of difference in my opinion is that brake pedal the other two pedals you can overlook but that brake pedal and because of a brake mod which is supposed to make the Logitech G29 feel more realistic there is very less travel initially in the brake pedal and it takes a lot of strength to push it all the way down whereas on the T3PA pedals the brake pedal is stiff as it should be but there is a lot more travel by default to play with and the clutch and the gas pedals are pretty much similar in both of these sets but it is the brake pedal which is the key point of difference and just in case you want to make your T3PA brake pedals feel more realistic you can use this conical brake mod to give it the same feel as you get on the Logitech G29 and Thrustmaster are kind enough to send you this screw and an allen key which you would require to bolt this into place so if the sims you play do not require you to use all of that brake pedal you can use this brake mod effectively but the games I play do require a lot of brake modulation and on the left is a footage of one of my league race highlights where I was three months into my Logitech G29 usage so I was pretty used to the brake pedal but looking at the brake input meter you can see that it's not as linear as you would want it to be but on my very first time using the T3PA pedals just look at the brake input meter it's it allows for much smoother modulation and that is something that's very important if you want to be fast and smooth and consistent with your driving but that is all about the pedals and now coming to the force feedback and in my very humble opinion I think it's not something that should affect your decision when you choose to buy either of these wheels and I'm not somebody who has used very high-end wheels to have a point of comparison between these two wheels but given that they're both entry-level wheels and they're both very similarly priced I think they both do a pretty decent job at simulating the force feedback and on either of these wheels it's I have never faced a situation where I've thought to myself that if I had the other wheel I would have been able to catch this slide better but there is a key point of difference and you would feel it on corners like the carousel so on a corner like carousel it's all personal preference but you would not expect smooth force feedback so to speak you would expect sudden jerks and loud noises even 
from the wheelbase and I think the Logitech G29 does a better job at simulating that I, but we should all know that it, that is all personal preference. I am somebody who plays with very aggressive force feedback settings and likes certain movements and jerks in the case of the Logitech G29 that comes with a lot of noise from the wheelbase but I am okay with that somebody else might not be and in that case I think the T150 is definitely the more smooth and definitely more quiet even under aggressive force feedback settings but having used both of these wheels I think both of them are pretty similar and the force feedback should not be the deciding factor when you choose to buy either of these wheels what should be is the number of issues which you would be facing in both of these wheels and as you can see on your screen right now I got this issue with the G29 about three months into using it and it's an issue with the potentiometers in the pedal set and I know about eight people who use the Logitech G29 and almost everybody has had this issue at some point in the usage I got this issue within three months of using the pedal but other people got it around nine or twelve months but on the T150 Pro as well the pedal set which came in the box was dead on arrival and I tried a lot of things contacted a lot of people and was finally able to make the throttle and the brake pedal work but the clutch pedal it's it's like it's not there and I cannot use it in any of the sims but thankfully this issue came right out of the box and I was able to get a replacement from where I bought it in this case that was Amazon but if this issue came in later it would have been a little problematic because Thrustmaster support in my country that is India is is not considered the best but in the case of the G29 the replacement process is very smooth you simply have to take the box to one of their service centers and it will take about two to three weeks but if your warranty claim is approved they will replace your wheel but the most important question which one is the better wheel and which one should you choose to buy and it depends to be honest so I've tried to rate both of these wheels in certain parameters and I've tried to rate them out of 10 and the key parameters or the key areas which you should consider I have highlighted in yellow and I would try to explain why. So starting with the price these are very similarly priced wheels so I don't think that should be an area of comparison between the two. The build quality again it's better on the G29 but I don't think that it's as bad on the T150 to really make or affect your decision. But coming to the pedals and this is a very important area it's something that motivated me to switch from the G29 to the T150 and, and although the pedals on both of these pedal sets are pretty nice I think the G29 does a better job at replicating a brake pedal in a real car but I think the T3PA pedals should be your choice if you want to get fast and get fast quickly because the learning curve is definitely lower in the T3PA pedals again that 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 is just my opinion I know a lot of people who are very fast on the G29 pedals as well but for me it took me a lot of time to get used to that brake pedal force feedback as I said is pretty similar it's it's all about getting used to one and you will find it better than the other in my opinion and it's not something that should really affect your decision but to the in-game support now and the default calibration or the setup for the G29 in most games is pretty decent I think Assetto Corsa F1 or Assetto Corsa Competizione I think all of the default settings for the G29 were better uh, for the Logitech G29 again it's not something that should affect your decision because you can fine tune these settings and get both of these wheels to work very nicely but moving on to the issues which you will get in both of these wheels and I've mentioned frequent for both of the wheels and because these are complex things these these include a lot of moving parts you will run into issues sooner or later and if you search on the internet just issues in either of these wheels you would see a lot of more videos on the G29 simply because a lot more people buy the G29 than the T150 so it should not lead you into thinking that the T150 is a more reliable wheel I think both of these both of these wheels have their fair share of issues but it all depends on the after sale support and in my country that is India Thrustmaster does not really do a good job at you know providing after sales support and the Logitech G29 as I mentioned previously does a very good job at doing that and that is something that you definitely want to consider if you want to choose either of these wheels but moving to the ecosystem now and definitely Thrustmaster takes the cake in this one because there are just so many more products than the Logitech ecosystem which in the Thrustmaster ecosystem which you can use so you have load cell pedals you have shifters which you can pair with almost all wheels 
in the Thrustmaster line of products and that is something definitely you need if you are very sure about sim racing in the future. For me personally I know that I would never be able to stop sim racing now and I definitely need an ecosystem where I can upgrade to different products in the same line of products. So yeah Thrustmaster for that reason alone is the choice for me in the current scheme of things. But that would be that for the video and if you enjoyed it then make sure you give this one a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. I'll do loads of other stuff as you can see on your screen right now. So check out all the other videos and let me know in case you have any feedback, suggestions or questions. And I would be very happy to reply to all of your comments in the comment section down below. But thank you for watching. Thank you for staying till the end and league racing season resumes this weekend. So I would be back with another highlights video soon. And until the next video, until the next time, just stay safe, stay healthy and I will see you in the next one.